All right, what up, YouTube? Smoke Reaper. Nothing with car audio today, but uh, I just moved into my new place in Belfont, middle of nowhere. Well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, Penn State is right up the road, basically. The, uh, those of you who don't know who Penn State is, Penn State football, big name, big campus, big college, college football, you know what that is. Anyway, I'll give you a tour of the place. Let's check it out. It's not the biggest place in the world, but it's a nice apartment. I mean, not going to lie, I like it. So this is the uh, living room area. Nice couches. Good. Not a very, uh, not the best view. I mean, looks right out to the street, cars, all that. Nice 32-inch uh, TV here. So, you know, that's always a plus. Fireplace, where a fireplace used to be. Pictures of my brothers and my sister. Let's go out to the kitchen. That's my favorite place because it's where I go when I'm hungry, just like everyone else. Yeah, I'm just like a normal person. So this is the kitchen. I mean, it's a huge kitchen, actually. Got everything I need here. Got my stove. My fridge, nothing much in the fridge yet. Hmm, what I got in here? Oh, cookies, sweet. Found some, found some cookies in there. Right, this is the back. I don't really have a backyard or anything like that. It's where I put all the recyclables and the garbage cans. They come pick it up. All right. Those are the two of the rooms. Uh, next place, this is the walk-in entrance. It's like an old Victorian-style apartment, more or less. So looks a little old school, but it's nice. It's where my mom sleeps. I love my mom. She let me move in here kindly, and I'm going to find a job up here. So thanks, Mom. Love you. Everybody's got to love their mom. Uh, little bathroom here. Bathroom's right here, chilling. Nothing much in it, but again, said again, it's a great place. I like it so far. And the last place is my room, which is not even close to being finished yet. I'm still waiting on my bed to get delivered. That's my air mattress I've been sleeping on. And uh, there's my 32-inch uh, Vizio. Got to find a desk or something to put that on. And... Oh, but I do really like the closet. The closet's uh, pretty big. It's got like three doors to it. The other door over here is probably is busted. And like I said, I don't have much of a view. So it's nothing that uh, I can't handle. But, you know, it's a nice place. Take you out front. Right. This is outside. This is... The area I live in, it looks like there's nothing here, which there is nothing in Belfont. But, like I said, about 10 minutes up the road, there's all kinds of stores. There's Best Buy. There's a million places you can go eat, movie theaters. You just see all the stores up here. It's, it's pretty nuts. I mean, I can't even tell you how many restaurants are up here. I was down to a restaurant earlier, though. It's about down the road a mile. It's like a little uh, family-style restaurant. It's like uh, family-owned. They had this root beer there that like, gets right out of the keg root beer. They take it and then you can put vanilla, cherry, or I forget what else in it. Chocolate, like uh, syrup, right into the root beer. And it's a, probably the best stuff I've ever had. I mean, it's good shit. So, this is the outside. This is the walkway. This is where it is. And uh, I'll take you to the front. Sorry about the glare. There it is. Tenants live upstairs, and of course, my car, which, you know, it's only street parking here, so my car is, like, all the way up here, but usually I get to park across the street, so, but today is just not that kind of day that I get to park over there, so my car is all the way up here. The one thing about this area that I don't like is that there's a noise ordinance in the area and there's cops driving by all the time. I mean, I can just count them going by. I've counted like from 8 in the morning to 9 in the morning. There was like at least 30 cars, cops went by. But I'm pretty sure it was the same cop, but he patrols the area like there's no tomorrow. So getting demos in is going to be kind of difficult unless I find it. I don't know much around here yet, my way around here yet. So getting demos in is going to be a pain and the ass to do with all these cops driving by and the uh, folks around here i don't know what they're like if they ever even heard of subwoofers but as you can see 
I still got them pumping, so they're still here. So I'll be trying to get demos in and doing what I need to do and, you know, still upgrading. I mean, there's a Best Buy close by if I ever need wiring or anything. And, man, my amp's still hot. Just came back from a drive. I went to a Office Depot to uh, do a survey form, and hopefully they give me a call back tomorrow. That'd be sweet to get a job and what a day and a half being here that'd be pretty sick so there it is this is Belfont like I said um, demos will still be coming in I'll still be doing upgrades on the system when I get it and come coming in again and uh, start saving and getting a bit bigger stuff bigger amps demos will still run I'm sure I'll find some people around here that might know what a subwoofer is and if, you get, if you're hearing a lot of wind it's windy out so Sorry about that. But other than that, I mean, it's a nice place. It's quiet, but it's uh, really nice, and I can't complain. I mean, mom's letting me stay here, so thanks to her. So this is pretty much everything in Belfont. I mean, there's going to be a lot of places to learn and go see a lot of things I haven't found yet. Maybe I'll find some base heads around here. Who knows? Maybe I'll hook up with some people. Maybe... Who knows, man? I mean, it's only day one, so I'm pretty sure I got some plenty more days coming in. So get used to the area. I'll keep posting videos, keep making demos. If I have time, I'll throw a demo up tomorrow. You know, and shake people's houses, do what I need to do. So that's all I got for you guys. That's my new digs. Peace out.